How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 5 today. Yes, I'm sure all of your social medias are going crazy if you're into Forza, because Forza Horizon 5 has just been revealed. In this video, I'm going to have detailed information about everything you need to know about Forza Horizon 5 so far, including what the game is, when we're getting it, what the map's like, where the location is, the new features, everything you're going to want to know. Before we get started guys, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if this video helps you out. I'm going to be smashing out Horizon 5 content. Every single piece of information you need to know is going to be on this channel. So make sure to subscribe. So, Forza Horizon 5. Where is it? It's in Mexico. I'm sure you've seen in the, in the thumbnail that it's going to be in Mexico, but yes, the leaks were correct. When is it coming out? Well, Forza Horizon 5 is releasing on November the 9th this year or November the 5th for Ultimate Edition owners also known now as the Premium Edition. The Standard Edition of the game is going to cost 55 British Pounds, the Deluxe Edition is going to cost 70 Pounds and the Premium Edition, the previous Ultimate Edition, is going to cost 85 Pounds. Now the Premium Edition includes the 4 day early access, November the 5th, the Welcome Pack, the car pass, the VIP membership, and all the expansions that are going to come in the future. Let's talk about the map and a bit about the location. So the Forza Horizon 5 map, let me quote this now. Forza Horizon 5's Mexico is the largest and most diverse world in the series, featuring 11 unique biomes including living deserts, lush jungles, historic cities, hidden ruins, pristine beaches, vast canyons and a towering snow-caped volcano, and more. Seasons make their return to Mexico, with each season having unique effects on the world depending on which biome the player is exploring. Very interesting. This tells me that the map is going to be very very big to the point where each part of the map may have a different sort of season going on. Well, it will be one season overall, but that season will be having different effects on the volcano as it does to the canyon. Does that make sense? Now, this Forza Horizon 5 map is also an evolving world. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's take a read of this. Take on awe-inspiring weather events such as towering dust storms and intense tropical storms as Mexico's unique dynamic seasons change the world every week. Keep coming back for new events, challenges, collectibles and rewards, and new areas to explore. No two seasons will ever be the same. Now what does this mean? Does this mean that this world can change with seasons, with these storms and everything that happens, tropical storms, rainfalls and stuff like that? The world can change. Will there be bigger floods in some places in some seasons than usual? One week the flood might be a bit less, one week it might be tall, there might be a lot more snow in one place, there might be a build up of sand, no idea. But yeah, the world is an evolving open world, we'll have to see what that means, but the words no two seasons will ever be the same is very interesting to read. Now let's talk about a bit about what the Horizon 5 world has to offer the main sort of concepts and features of it. You can immerse yourself in a very deep campaign. I presume that means it's quite a nice big campaign, that's what we want to hear, with hundreds of challenges that reward you for engaging in the activities that you like to do. You can meet new characters and also choose the outcomes of your Horizon Story missions. So Horizon Story is going to be a thing again and you can choose the outcomes. Maybe it's going to be a lot more of a story based rather than just a few challenges. Does that make sense? Now the Horizon world is also going to be very sociable as well. You can team up with other players and enter the Horizon Arcade, more on that later, for a continuing series of fun, over-the-top challenges that you and your friends can keep in action with no menus, loading screens or lobbies. So this tells me that there's going to be a bunch of you know, challenges and stuff like that, that you can do with your friends that you don't have to go in through any loading screens to get to. No stupid menus or anything like that. It's just straight in, challenge, 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 you know, activities everywhere. No loading. That's what we like to hear. Now, a quick brief thing on the customization that this game is going to have. There is something called the Event Lab, which is a gameplay tool set which includes custom races, challenges, stunts, and entirely new game modes. 
You can also customize your cars in more ways than ever. New body kits, new wheels, new paint options, and much more. Another new feature called gift drops is something we'll get on later as well. That's the basis of the game, of how much stuff it's going to have. Now I'm going to go individually through each feature, each option, each change, each sort of, you know, going to go in a bit more in detail about what we've got going on. Forza Link. This is the new AI assistant that intelligently tracks the status of you and other people you meet online, then helps you link up and play together. No further details on this just yet, but this sounds like you know, it's going to meet you up with the correct people that possibly likes doing the same stuff that you do. We'll see about that. Horizon Open. Horizon Open refines the traditional Forza Horizon PvP experience with an emphasis on lower friction and fun by unifying it under one banner, allowing players to seamlessly jump into sessions for racing, games, drifts, eliminator and more and stay until they've had their fill. This seems like a bucket of just, you know, races, eliminator, just, you can do all sorts, you know, seamlessly doing it bit by bit without having to, you know, get into one session and waiting for that to load and then blah, 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 blah. And obviously the key thing to take from this is the eliminator. If Horizon Open contains the eliminator, then Forza Horizon 5 has the eliminator. Horizon Tour. Horizon Tour sees players jump into races from anywhere across the world, meeting up with other players to race against driver tars on average difficulty. This mode captures the experiences of a car meet, with players meeting up in the world to race and having the option to continue together to the next tour location in the world. So this seems like, rather than racing against each other, you get into a big group and you tour the world, doing different races, meeting in places and doing stuff like that, similar to a car meet. And you go in races together and race against, you know, Dravatars, the AI. Sounds very cool. Horizon Arcade. Horizon Arcade invites players to journey to arcade markers across the map to engage in various challenges and minigames, which can be accessed directly from the map with 130 challenges spanning 11 total game themes. Horizon Arcade ensures it's always fun to be had with other players across Mexico. So, once again, Horizon Arcade sounds a bit more arcadey. You know, little challenges, little mini games. No word on what these challenges or mini games could be as of yet, or as of when I'm making this video. Now let's talk about something called Gift Drops. This is a very interesting feature. Gift Drops allows you to send and receive from the community. You can take one of your cars, apply upgrades and a paint job, and then drop it, up as a, drop it off as a gift to another player. However, a bit more in detail. Gift drops have more in common with Forza Horizon 4 gar barn finds rather than just me giving a car to one of you. It's a bit different than that. It's more similar to barn finds. For example, I could create a gift drop. It could be of anything. You know, I could create a car and put it as a gift drop. I could then mark that gift drop for a newbie. So then anyone in that category of a newbie Horizon player could come across and be the one to find my gift drop, which will be my car that I've, you know, made as a gift drop. There will be more information on how this works specifically in the future, might be soon, but yeah, that's the basis of it. Now a bit on the performance and how the game's going to run and stuff like that. Now Forza Horizon 5 runs at 4K 30 FPS on Xbox Series X. Hold on a minute. I know you've got. Pa I know you've panicked when you've heard 30 FPS, but hold on. And 1080p, 30 FPS on Xbox Series S. For players that prefer to optimize for frame rate, they are providing a performance mode option that will raise it to 60 FPS. So 60 FPS is still a thing. No need to worry. 4K 60 is still a thing. Ray tracing. Forza Horizon 5 leverages ray tracing to deliver true to life reflections for hundreds of cars featured in Forza Vista. So yeah, some people are going to be a bit bummed about that. Ray tracing is going to be in Forza Horizon 5 but only on Forza Vista. Um, not, not a massive issue. Um, now a bit more on the customization. Let's talk about Event Lab. Event Lab is a new suite of tools that gives you the freedom to build whatever you want and then tear up the rulebook as you literally decide how this event works. 
right down to the fundamentals of the game, right down to the specifics. You can create your own races, your own game modes, your own challenges and gameplay experiences down to the core. That sounds really cool. Monumentally better than Root Creator. Now a bit about the vehicle customization. Now we can't go too specific on this, but good enough to make us excited. The vehicle customization, the, the paint shop, has seen a complete UX overhaul to bring the experience in line with modern image manipulation software. Photoshop, I'm guessing. So, you know, making decals, making paint shops, sorry, making, making liveries, that's the word. You know, it's seen a complete overhaul and will be similar so, you know, Photoshop is going to be that modern and high tech. That's going to be cool. As far as car customization goes, there has been hundreds of new rims added, hundreds of new visual upgrades added, body kits added, and thousands of performance upgrades. Those four words, thousands of performance upgrades. Wow. Now a bit about character customization. We've improved our character customizer to provide players with a more diverse cast of selectable characters. Okay, new customization options include the ability to customize hairstyle color, um, select prosthetic limbs, choose pronouns, select from different voices, and the ability to purchase clothing with credits. Different voices is interesting. That means that our Horizon players are actually going to talk and not just stand there listening to the dialogue. Sounds amazing, they've gone ham out, ham out, flat out, I mean, with the character customization and every other type of customization about the game. There's a few other things that we know about, I'm going to touch on them now. Um, one of them is called Kudos, or Kudos, I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, apparently it was a thing back on PGR, um, Project Gotham Racing, one of the old games. I can't recall playing them, um, I, I know I've played one of them, but I can't remember what this used to be. But apparently this is going to be a social currency which is awarded between players for positive acts, unlocking flares that can be attached to your player um, and visible to others. So this sounds like some kind of currency that can be rewarded for being good, for not messing about and crashing into people and ramming into people, just, you know, being behaving really. Um, and it can give you flares and little icons for your characters. Um, that might not be the only thing you can spend these on, if they're spendable, but yeah, that's quite cool to hear. Now this is everything that I basically have to say about Forza Horizon 5 as of this video. Obviously on this channel I'll keep you up to date with everything that comes out, Horizon 5 news, make sure to subscribe for that. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, Forza Horizon 5 content I mean, how many times am I going to get that wrong? I'll see you all later.